workers. I'm going to get the money back. And there are scenes in here where, like, the trains are, like, just barely going by them and, like, not hitting them. And they are kicking and full punching each other on screen. There's gushing bloods coming out of their heads. One of my favorite things he each does other. is when he punches the guy. And th- what they do is they have him get punched and turn to the side. And then they cut to a, just a blank wall. And a huge splatter of blood just <laughs> flies yeah. over the wall. It's, such, it's, it's fantastic. Yeah, and, and, and some of the overall like geography of the sequencing here is like a little bit confusing because clearly he had to use just the best shots where they got the best like stunts yeah. stuff put in. But there is sort of like a an interesting disorientation that, you know, he he's already experiencing in like the editing of the film between like the stunt and like the the horror sequence and stuff like that that's happening. So when you get to this final action scene, it really just is a haze of like people hitting each other throwing each other against like concrete and steel and then blood spraying everywhere. It just becomes like a sea of like that happening. At one point, Bone Crusher picks up a giant piece of wood and just uses it as a battering ram (laughs) (laughs) on him. Yeah. (laughs) And the, and the, and the location work of this fight, like on the side of the train tracks and then eventually sort of like above them in like what looks like this really like a, this abandoned, like dilapidated, building with like concrete and steel pieces like sticking out everywhere yeah, the and, one in with the bone crusher is on like a they're on like a rooftop i think too yeah yeah and you can see the cars driving beneath them and you can see like the the buildings in the background and stuff like that like he chose his shots well with um having them do their fight and you can actually see the location work yeah. that they've done because they're like hey we have a decent location let's sort of use it and it does ma- make it feel like bigger than some of the other action that takes place um in the scene i mean especially when he goes on to like just smashing him in the head over and over again with like a brick and then hits him in the brain like with the one of the shurikens and it keeps beating his head on the concrete basically until he throws him over the edge where he is run over by traffic and his (laughs) head flies off into the street (laughs) loves a good decapitation on this show can't go wrong Hell yeah, dude! It's and a, then he the goes, shot and, too, though, and he, and, with with him like because it shows him laying on going the, under the car. Yeah, I was, and it's it's him. I don't know how they did it exactly, but like he's blinking and everything, and then the car goes by the camera, and then he just kind of disappears, and then it cuts to the shot of his head rolling. But the the shot of him getting hit by the car is is very convincing, and uh, I really thought it was it was well done. Yeah, no, that, that, that whole fight just sort of, like, slowly escalates. And, again, this is all in the last, like, 10 to 15 minutes that we're, we're, yeah, we're talking about. Yeah, big finale. Here. Here. And, he, and, and he's still not done. He eventually yeah. um, gets hit by a car in a stunt. And then he does another stunt where his arm is sticking inside of a car. And he's riding on the outside of the car. Just hold, Just his left arm is, like, basically... Uh, like rolled up into the window holding him there yep. and he's being like dragged across a wall yeah. as the car is like trying to like lose him and stuff like that it looks, it looks really dangerous so dangerous oh my god like because they like how 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 he didn't lose his arm doing that i have no idea yeah i know it feels like it feels like it could have been just he scraped his arm so they went put it in the movie we'll make it work with the character like that's how dangerous this actually feels because they do have shots of him in the car, you know, hooked up to the hooked up to the window and going through that little small space that the alley gives them. Like it like yeah. there are shots just blatantly showing it. And man, I would I would kill to see some behind the scenes footage of, of just that sequence alone because I, I, I don't know. It's like I don't know if they went slower than they needed to and then maybe did a little bit of weird editing or something. Uh, but it feels genuinely dangerous for him and it's crazy to watch. Yeah. Because I didn't think yeah, any it. of the stunt work was going to be... Like, I thought it'd be fun, you know, shooting with squibs. And I saw nunchucks, so I figured a couple guys would get smacked in the head. But when we're talking, like, this is almost like a Jackie Chan-esque stunt right here, where he's putting half of his body on the line to a brick wall mm-hmm. in between a car and a brick wall. Like, that's just something I didn't expect to see, that kind of stunt work in, in this kind of a movie. It's really impressive. Yeah, it... And, and it, it honestly does, like, heighten and accentuate it almost just because, like, the movie is clearly so low budget. It's so sort of, like, amateurishly made um, that, like, it, it it almost makes it feel 
I wouldn't say like more real, but like it, 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 it makes you like, there's, there is something that comes out of that homemade quality of like, yeah. this is two friends making a film. Only one of them's about to die on screen. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. And, and there, there is something sort of like interesting and kind of exciting that he kind of pulls out of that, um, which, which then he, uh, translates over into the more like fake looking gore stuff, which is still really like gross and, and, and well done. But it, I, I feel like the sort of like the stunt aspect of it, like makes the other stuff like feel a little bit more real. Like right after when Danny starts like biting his finger off, which gushes blood everywhere. And then, oh, like yeah. Or like stabs stabbing him 20 him. times. Like that guy, he just stabs and stabs and stabs. Like it's, it's yeah. He won't stop dude. It's like that. It's like the, you know, when like someone gets stabbed in prison scenes or whatever, and they just go like stab, 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 stab. It's, it's literally yeah. like that. And it's so this, this ending five minutes where they get out of the car and just start brutalizing each other is v- extremely violent. Like just, just so like, almost, almost obnoxiously violent with the way that they treat each other. Like, I, like when he's, yeah. when he d- does the, the finger thing, I think they even add, like a, a shot where you see a bit of his bone and stuff like that. Like it's, yeah, it's, it's crazy. It's wild. And then, I, and then, and then I think he spits them out. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh God. Yeah. Oh, uh, and, and then, and then it ends with him.